Okay, is this our next stop? Mariner's Museum. There has to be something on navigation here. Excuse me, are you with the NASA Road Rally? Yes, I am. Do you have your logbook oh, with you? Oh, I sure do. Now, according to our instructions, we're supposed to learn something from you about early navigation. Well, here at the Mariner's Museum in Newport News, Virginia, we tell the story of man's conquest of the seas. When people set out to explore the oceans, they had to create a system of measurement to determine their location. To determine the distance along north to south, the navigator had to determine the altitude of the sun. For instance, if the sun on the equator at noon is 90 degrees to the horizon, and if the sun at the North Pole is zero degrees, then the degrees in between note a ship's position. This is called latitude. To locate his east to west position, the navigator had to measure the difference between local times. For example, when the sun was at noon in different places. This is called longitude, and spring-driven clocks were a great boon to determining that position. Although the cross staff, the magnetic compass, and the spring-driven clock were high-tech for their day, ancient mariners continued to navigate a lot by what we call dead reckoning. That is, by estimating their position traveled from a previously determined position. Ah, I see you have one of those GPS contraptions. That's the way to navigate today. Captain, this has been very interesting, but you know, looking at my watch, I think we need to be shoving off. So, do you have a clue for us? Well, I think I might. On your next stop, you're going to be studying how early aviators and today's pilots navigate their ways through the skies. Now, away with you!